Yes, I think I'm supposed to be staying here. Oh. <laughs> of course, I could always come back later. <laughs> or I could find another room. No, 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 it's not you. How do you do? My name is Susan Ridgely. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Dale, Dale Riley. Dale. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm acting this way. It's just that uh, this, uh, this, this is my honeymoon. <laughs> Shouldn't there be somebody else here? <laughs> yes, Jerry, but he didn't show up for the honeymoon. He didn't even show up for the wedding. He didn't go to his own wedding? No. I can't believe that. We waited for two hours. All the candles burnt down. And the organist was playing request. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> but I'm sure there must be an explanation. There is. Hmm? On his way to the wedding? Yeah. He stopped off to pick up his tuxedo. Mm -hmm. And he ran off with the girl who rented it to him. <laughs> See, I told you there was an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man is an idiot. I know. But I love him. I can't live without him. No matter what lousy thing he does to me. <laughs> so... I know what you mean. <laughs> you do? Sure. You see, I was sort of jilted myself. What's his name? Joanne. <laughs> Joanne, so I know what you mean. Oh. Well, I guess you and I have a lot in common. Yeah, we're both just a couple of lovesick girls. What are you doing? I'm going to take a shower. Here? <laughs> I'm silly. In the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll let you do that. Thank you. Uh, we'd like a nice French red wine, please. Something a little bubbly. Thank you. I shouldn't have come. I mean, it's crazy. A honeymoon for one. Look on the bright side. When you get home, you'll be well-rested. <laughs> Jerry was always unpredictable. We were at a drive-in movie once, and I went to the snack bar. But when I got back, the girl from the box office was in the car with him. Can you imagine? I had to stand there eating buttered popcorn until the movie was over. <laughs> when you love someone, you do dumb things. Degrading things. Tell me about it. <laughs> you know them? No. I think he's beautiful. Maybe a little too beautiful, if you know what I mean. No way. Straight arrow. What? You can tell by looking at him? I can tell by the way she's looking at him. It's the same way I used to look at Jerry. Now you'll find somebody else. There's <laughs> nobody in the world like Jerry. Oh, Susan. Susan? What? Don't you have a nightgown? It was supposed to be my honeymoon. I didn't think I'd need a nightgown. <laughs> Why are your eyes doing that? Hmm? Oh, that? Oh, <laughs> well, <clears throat> that's just a, a nervous condition. Get you a tranquilizer. No! That'll just make me more nervous. <laughs> sleep. I need sleep. Either that or a cold shower. <laughs> hey. Don't. Go. Why? 
dead is a lousy way to oh, live. Oh, you don't know anything about it. I know your mother would hate it. What? Both your parents. <laughs> death always makes them feel like failures. And over what? Some guy? It's not worth it. Look, I was just about to do the same thing myself over there. I know what I'm talking about. You what? Yes. And if you kill yourself, I couldn't kill myself. People would think I'm a copycat. <laughs> Let me put it another way. Have you ever dived off something this high before? No. Well, it's got to be 100 feet. You could kill yourself. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I could kill myself. Yeah. So how about it, lady? You want to get down now? Yeah. Okay, can I give you a hand? Yes. <laughs> was love, yeah, but to her it was a week at my uncle's beach house. That's really cold. No colder than a guy leaving his bride at the altar while he tries on a tuxedo, not to mention the girl who rents it. Well, I guess we're both losers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you haven't even told me your name. Dale. Dale Ru 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 Reinhardt. Dale? You're the second Dale I've met on this ship. Oh, well, my roommate's name is Dale. Susan, we have to talk. Oh, I'd really love to, Dale. But I really should find Dale. Um, the other Dale. You see, I promised to meet her, and I don't want her worrying. She has a nervous condition. Uh-huh. Well, maybe we can talk over dinner. Oh, I... I already promised to have dinner with Dale number one. I'm sure she'd understand. But I feel terrible. You see, she's, um, sort of... not very attractive. Oh. How about after dinner? Oh, I'd like that. Yeah? Yeah. Nine o'clock? Great. All right. I'll see you then. Maybe even before. So there we were, Dale and I, soaking wet in the cabin. He had just saved my life, and suddenly, suddenly it was as if Jerry never existed. Now, maybe this other Dale, um... <clears throat> Maybe it's just that he was in the right place at the right time. Maybe that's why you think he's attractive. You do think he's attractive, don't you? Oh, yes. And kind and strong and... To tell you the truth, if I hadn't been afraid that you might walk in, I might have... I would have... You wouldn't have. I know that's not like me at all, but that's what I wanted to do. Oh, you understand. You're a woman. Well, I mean, we have feelings like that, too. Sometimes, when you see a total stranger, you know, like in the supermarket, and he really does something to you. But you're a woman, so you're not supposed to feel things like that, so you pretend he's not there. No matter how he makes you feel, you never do anything about it. You do something about it at a supermarket, they won't cash your checks anymore. <laughs> Dale, could you do something for me? Anything, anything. Tonight, do you think you could, um, find someplace else to sleep? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> you understand. <laughs> Well, it's almost 9 o'clock. Is it? Yes. I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you. Oh, thank you, Dale. Oh, oh. <laughs> no problem. Susan, if it'll make you happy, believe me, it'll make me happy. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me, Julie? Yes. Julie, I'm waiting for a passenger, a Mr. Dale Reinhardt, who's late. Would you by any chance know what cabin he's in? Well, I don't write offhand, but I can certainly check for you. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm sorry I took so long, but there's no Mr. Reinhardt on the ship. It figures. You'd think I'd learn by now, wouldn't you? 
I mean, all men do is lead you on. They tell you things that they think you want to hear, and you can never believe anything they say. Do you know what? I bet that he wasn't even going to kill himself, either. <laughs> oh, Dale. He didn't show up. He didn't. No, you poor dear. I thought he was going to be different. He turned out to be just as rotten as the rest Not of us. Not him. Yes. He's a wonderful person. From what you've told me about him. <laughs> Come, Susan. Let me take you back to the cabin. Oh, Dale. What am I going to do? Shh. Nobody wants me. First Jerry. Now Dale. The other Dale. <laughs> oh, Dale. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs>